All right, what's up, guys? It's Cruz from Cruz's Balloon Creations. And today I'm going to show you how I organize my balloons. Now, I organize my balloons. I'm not too particular about how I like to organize them, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. I've been ballooning for about a year, so I'm going to show you the method I do it. I'm still considering myself a beginner because I am. So let me show you guys. I'm going to show you guys from bottom to top. All right. So at the bottom right here, I have... A bunch of Ziploc bags that I use to store balloons because and then sometimes these ones rip so I just refill with those ones. I have this uh, balloon book called More Balloon Animals. Um, sucky book. I don't like it at all. I learned better balloons for these type of balloons on YouTube and they're way better. I'll probably post some like how-to videos later but this is my first video on this channel so if you like it subscribe for more balloon videos and we're not. I got uh, these pumps, this is a Qualitex pump. It's hand inflated for 260s and uh, 350s and any like above. Really good pump. The only thing is, um, I always like to carry two, as you see, I have two in them. I always like to carry more than one because before I was at a gig and it went on on me. So always carry an extra pump. That's what I learned to do. I got these for around four bucks in my balloon supply. Four or five bucks. Pretty good. And then there's my other one. Right here, this is my apron. It's just rolled up. It's a waiter's apron. I'm or I'm in the process of ordering a you know a real balloon apron, but this has got me through a year, and I've done plenty of gigs with it, and it works perfectly. I'll show you guys how I make this work in a future video. These are placemats that I got at a thrift store. I cut them in half, and I use them to wrap my balloons with when I put them in that apron. But I'll show you guys how I make that work in another video also. And that's all that was in my first one. Ugh, let me put all this stuff back in there. I'll organize it later. There you go. And this is the second drawer. The second drawer, this is all my balloons. Uh, let's see. I have my blues. I don't like organize them by shades. I organize them by color. I just put all the shades together. So these are my blues. These are black grays and I only have a couple of clears so I put the clears in there. Um, these are all my greens. I have more but they're probably somewhere else. I group my uh, reds, orange, and yellows. I have my five inch rounds. I use these for eyes and whatnot. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I call this my princess assortment because it has my blues, my pinks, my reds, and my uh, lilacs. And then this is the this is the character assortment minus the uh, gray. So this is basically my mocha browns, my dark browns, and my blushes. So I just keep them all in one. And usually when I roll them up in tubes, they're just in one anyway. Uh, these are my purples. I have more purples, but they're in the Princess Swami one. But I just keep them in this one. And then these are all my scraps. I'll show you guys, like, cool balloons that I use, like, scraps with. Because when I'm bored every once in a while, I'll just make a scrap balloon for my website and whatnot. I'll have links to my website and some social media down below. And then here, let me get up. Ooh. Oh, and I'm keeping this all in a basic, uh, Sterilite container. So as you can see there. It's basically in a Sterilite container. Alright, now this is all my stuff that I usually like to keep. Excuse this. I'm freehanding this. This is my balloon album that I use. This is my big album. I have several other ones. All it is is basically a Dollar Tree album with photos of balloons I do. See all those? There's a few. I'll show you this in a future video. Um, I have business cards. I pull one out. Cover my address. That's basically my business card. Let's see my camera will focus. Come on, focus camera. Well, there you go. There's a the basis of it. It's my business card. I got those at Vistaprint, vistaprint.com. It was like 10 bucks for 250 of them. Scissors. Always keep these handy. Uh, got a pen. I always have a pen on hand. Uh, let's see. Let me open this box. Let me, see, let me take this box out. Oh, my camera got stuck in there. Okay. All right, here, let me just put this box on top. Rolls forward. Okay, now this is just like pens and other miscellaneous stuff. There you go. Now, letter openers. As you guys know, you probably get these at fairs and stuff. Got two of them. I use these to cut balloons with just real quickly. I'm probably gonna end up drawing some holes right here just to strap to an apron. I got two of those. What I actually like this one better. 
because if you see this one's just it's a slot and you look at this one it has like a notch right there so I use this one more and this one feels way sturdier I got some pins let's see uh, this one I made at zazzle.com all tips appreciated I made that one on zazzle too I got this one on eBay and my eBay seller, the one that I got the other one from, they were out on vacation, so they sent me an extra one, and I got that one. <laughs> That's a funny one. It says random thought. I'll usually write something in there depending on the event, or if not, I just leave it blank, and it adds for a little gag. I'll be like, I guess I'm not thinking, so <laughs> That's a funny one to have. Uh, right here, I have all my Sharpies and a few Expos. I have the Expo to write on that random thought one. I have all my colored Sharpies. I like to carry a few of the chisel tip, the big ones. I have three of those. They're not all Sharpies, but you get the picture. I got all the colors in there. So yeah, and this is all stored inside a basic uh, Sterilite container. Let's see, it's Sterilite. I got this for 10 bucks at Walmart. So what a great buy. And then basically when I'm going from gig to gig, I'll usually put it inside this, which is, it's just a camera bag, but I usually put them inside those wraps, put them in there. And then when I get to the ocean, oh when I get to the gig, I'll just put, take out my apron, put them in there. And then it makes for a pretty nice little carrying case. So I'll show you guys how I make that work. Cause I'm basically, my channel is going to be ballooning, balloon, uh, be uh, beginning balloon twisting videos. So you guys will get to see all that. But for right now, that's the basis of it. So this is my setup messy. Now I'll put it, I'm putting them all back in right now, but so yeah, that's basically it. I'm happy you guys got to see how my beginner setup is for balloon twisting. Uh, if you like the video, like it, leave a comment, what you think about it. Be nice. I know I'm kind of bad right now, but don't worry. I'll get better. And subscribe, check out my social media links, like me on Facebook, check out my website, and peace.